Full already. Save these for the trail. for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Would you 
you like to buy something today? You do well to keep to yourself. The sun. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Leave. Soon. Watch yourself. You never know. Idle chat. I shouldn't say this, but why would I miss seeing Uther in some fall? I saw the Astral talking to a couple Outlanders. It looked like that. We've got the best Bahavas. Outlanders are idiots. But... Sudden deaths, weird disappearances. What's going on here? That face must be. to think what sort of work the savages have been doing for Bahavas. I didn't think that one Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. Leave me be. With Uthi. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go... ...go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. 
I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you don't kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. For the Kestrels. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. You're not known to kick Cook's killers. Have any songs been written about you? Uh, maybe. How about you? Only laments. We're the enders of songs. Machine spirit or man spark. We stop them all. Ah, charming. Warmth is for weakness. Uthid was the most devoted culture I knew. If Bah. I can't stay true, what hope is there for the rest of us? I need my uncle. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. You worry me. Watch yourself, Outlander. <laughs> Another manhunt. How many men and women can one tribe lose? Odin. Leader of Odin's marvels. You've a fresh face. When you're less an eye or an ear or two, you'll fit right in. First impressions make the sale, except in this snake pit. They'll take whoever shows up. This isn't your first job for the Shadow Karja? Scared of their own shadows, Karja, more like. They spit on me, but the shards are good. Look at those nobles. I say noble, but you can't dress a rat in silk and call it a rat king, can you? Sunfall is a house of clay. If you were to stamp your foot, it would all crumble. Shouldn't you all be setting out to hunt Uthid? Have you never done this before? Whoever goes first just leads the others. Just take a load off and avail yourself of some Karja booze until someone sniffs out the trail. Then watch us seek out our prey, straight as a ravager's shot. Zip! Are you sure you're gonna be able to walk in a straight line? What are you getting at? Do you think Uthid did what they're accusing him of? I hope so. It'll make him more dangerous. My advice, it's best not to overthink such things. Uh, overthink whether he's guilty or innocent? <laughs> you let all these thoughts in your head, you'll never make it as a mercenary. Only thing that matters is dead or alive. If they say alive, bring a rag to stuff in its mouth. But these days, no one wants alive. Farewell, Odin. Good hunting. If I should have cause to kill you, you won't suffer. Oh, thanks. If you've got a problem with me, talk to Odin. If he can stand his breath. Not every day you get a chance to bag a war hero. I have to go. Fine by me. I have a barrel to empty. What do you suppose is happening in Meridian right now? Feasting, I wager.
First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun now. ring from on high. These are desperate times. Ah, they a balustrade. See this, boy. It's a short drop it from there. Quite an impression. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. You worry me. <laughs> Odin. Leader, first impressions. This isn't your scared of their look at those notes. Sunfall. Shouldn't you have you never just take a load and watch us see? <laughs> Do you think Uth- I hope so. Uh... <laughs> if they say a lot- Farewell, Odin. Good hunt- Oh. If you've got a problem with me, talk to Odin. If you can stand his breath. Not every day you get a chance- I have to go. Fine by me. I have a barrel to empty. Remember your place, stranger. The usurper. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. 
a lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. For her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Who? Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I understand. So by now I... Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around.
take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In the smaller room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Forget about traveling light. Holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. 
You said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Castrius. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! Kill it! What is this place? Tomb? I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Recovery already. It is nothing. We will not die. It ain't about to die. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. To the right of the Every living thing dissolved into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Get off! Get off! Don't! Please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. You previously worked 
for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line, self-replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but that could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Uh, 
let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people have been safe? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. <laughs>